I'm Sergio Carrera. I'm a Senior Research Fellow at CEPS, and I'm the coordinator of the Asile Project, Horizon Project, funded by the European Union, which examines e asylum governance internationally and the European Union's role, paying particular attention to the implementation of the Global Compact on Refugees. In the Asile Project, we have investigated the scope and implementation of instruments, asylum governance instruments, that are often presented as promising practices because they ensure legal pathways and inclusion of refugees and asylum seekers. One of the findings, however, has been that many times those instruments present containment in disguise features, meaning some exclusionary components when it comes to accessibility. Who has access to those instruments? Uh, we have uh, found that in many cases there are discrimination at stake, meaning that uh, some people may have access to these instruments and not others. This includes, for instance, res resettlement, private sponsorships, initiatives. Um, so to, to, to consider this, um, these components before sharing these experiences and framing them as promising practices. And uh, secondly, that while the priority given by the Global Compact on Refugees to enhance legal pathways is of course very sound, the right to seek asylum uh, must be upheld by governments, meaning that it's not either or. It's not, you know, we have resettlement and therefore what happens with all those people who appear at external borders of those countries seeking asylum and who have made their journeys because of all the legal obstacles they faced to travel safely and legally in an authorized way. Those people need to be received. Those people need to be to have access to protection. So this principle of a protection driven uh, approach and the principle of additionality, meaning that legal pathways must be additional to the right to seek asylum. This is one of the key conclusions of the project. And uh, here the European Union can and should play a role, not only in you know, focusing on containment, closing borders, but instead facilitating legal avenues for travel and entry and not closing borders to asylum, but upholding uh, asylum secret rights.